Welcome back to the evening show. Now, my next guest, well, I think it's fair to say that he brings magic and illusion to a whole new level. It is, of course, the wonderful Keith Barry. Keith, thank you so much for coming back. Yeah, coming thanks for having me. It's good to be days. back. And you've been doing the asylum. How's it been going for you? It's been going fantastic. You know, I've had great fun with the asylum over the past year. You were there yourself. Yeah. And, yeah, I just had great fun with it, you know. And it's been probably my favourite show that I've performed to date on stage. So, yeah, I'm bringing the asylum back, starting tonight, actually, in Waterford. And then tomorrow night in the Heritage Hotel in Port Leash. And then a whole bunch of dates across the country. But this will be the last time that the asylum will tour, you know, all good things must come to an end, so uh, I, I guess this is the final run of the asylum. So, uh, you know, I'll probably change it up a little bit this time around just to have fun with it myself, you know. Now, I have been, and it is an incredible show. I thoroughly enjoyed the first half, which is all more tricks, and I know the second half is more the, the uh, hypno hypnosis yeah. side of things. Yeah, yeah. It's just been incredible. Yeah, thanks. You know, the first half of the show, I guess, for people who haven't seen it and are potentially thinking about coming along, you know, the first half is me implanting thoughts into people's minds, extracting thoughts from their minds. But I guess it's important for people to realize it is hugely based on comedy. And my job as an entertainer is to transport people into a fantasy world. And what I try to do is create situational. I'm not a comedian, but I try and create situations on stage that are comedic in value. So I guess what I try to do is make people laugh first and then be fooled uh, badly also. That's sure. what I at least try and do. <laughs> and then the second half, as you said, is just hypnosis. But uh, I'm at least hoping that I'm pushing the edge and the boundaries with hypnosis because some nights, uh, you know, every night I'll do different routines with the hypnosis. So some nights I'll make people think that they're temporarily insane. In other words, that they're actually in asylums. And they'll end up frothing at the mouth and trying to get out of straitjackets and stuff. And then other parts of the hypnosis where, uh, let's just say, uh, for the to keep it PC uh, mm -hmm. at this time of day, uh, the people on stage end up having full-blown multiple O's with me on stage, uh -huh. shall we say. And uh, to very comedic results. As you mentioned earlier, sometimes people on stage, their parents are in the audience and <laughs> that's happening. And so uh, yes. it's kind of fun, you know. I, I thoroughly enjoyed it, and, and I know it's touring at the moment, but the new show that's going to be coming up during the summer is The Eight Deadly Sins. Yeah, that's right. You know, uh, as we just mentioned, you know, the asylum is touring at the moment. Actually, next week I'm in, in Cork and Wexford also. But then The Eight Deadly Sins will begin its run in July in the Olympia, July 13th. And I'm really excited about that because, you know, it's always a challenge for me to develop new effects, new demonstrations. So I came up with the idea of the eight deadly sins. So a lot of research that I've been doing over the past few months has been based around the current seven deadly sins. And of course, everybody's wondering what the eighth deadly mm -hmm. sin is. And there is an eighth deadly sin that I've actually concocted and invented for the purposes of the show. But uh, to give you a little snippet, a little insight into what the show will be about, I'm getting two giant coffins made for the stage, one with a, a red neon crucifix, one with a blue neon crucifix over it, and somebody will be selected at random to come up from the audience and jump into one of the coffins, whichever one they choose. And let's just say one of the coffins will have a relatively comfortable landing, oh dear. but the other one could potentially be life-threatening, and it'll be their choice which one they want to go into. Um, and then another part of the show, I'm getting people up to mentally confess their sins to me. So, in other oh words, I have, to, I have to try and extract their <laughs> sins from their brains. You've got a lot of sins in there now, so you better keep, uh, keep well, me shut, uh, shut out from your brain. I might come uh, <laughs> to the next one if that's what you're doing. Well, no, I have, to, I have to say, based on that notion, because a lot of people have said that, oh, I might not go because yeah. I'm too scared. Uh, I'm going to give people the option, because I'm, I'm getting a confession box made for the oh, stage. Yeah. So I'm going to give people the op option before they go into the confession box. They can either create imaginary sins... So just make our real ones, okay. and that will be their choice. So if they choose to create imaginary sins, I won't reveal any of their true sins to the audience. So now, with confession, you're not allowed to discuss the sins. Exactly. Does that mean that you will, in fact, be revealing the sins or not to the audience? Oh, I will be revealing them, and that's why it's important that they can either uh, create imaginary sins or, if, they're cho if they choose, uh, they can be real sins, but they do will they, be revealed. Do they have to say whether they're making them up or being true? But to the audience? Uh, they don't have to, no. Ah, well then that would no. be a bit of fun. No, no, and that's the whole point. They can either create them on the spot or uh, think of real ones. Okay. But I don't want anybody going home getting divorced <laughs> or going to jail or anything like that. So, you know, it's all in good jest and in good fun, you know. Okay, well let's not do the whole sin thing now, but no. I'm sure you have something 
to wow me with yeah, again this, is, this, this time around. This is like a little thing in, in lie detection. I want to see how good of a liar you are right I'm, now. I'm a brutal okay. liar. I'm terrible. Okay, well, let's, for the purposes of today, because you're a brutal liar, let's put some money on it to try and make you into a good liar, okay? Okay. Um, and it's your job to catch me up, but this is kind of a simple way to lie because, as you said, you think you're a brutal liar. I've got a little dice here. I want you to examine it. Make sure it's numbered 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. It is. Okay, roll it a couple of times on the table to make sure it's not loaded in any way and the same number doesn't keep popping up. That was a six. That's two. a two. Don't throw it so far, yeah. Olive. Okay, six, six again. again. Okay, uh -oh. Go again. No, it's okay. Go again. Oh, oh on the floor, three. three. Okay, go again. Three. three. Go again. Six. six. Go again. Three. Go again. Six. Four. four. I mean, five, yeah. four. All, all different numbers keep coming up, okay? Yeah. So here's the idea. Put it in this cup. This is a cup from the, the canteen, your canteen, yeah. your cup, okay? Stick it in the cup. And here's what I'd like you to do. I want you to give it a, a quick shake, and when you're done, turn face down on the table, oh, okay? Look I'll look away and I'll close my eyes. You don't need to look at it just yet. Turn it face down on the table. Now, have you any idea at this moment in time what number is facing up? No. There's no way to know. I'm going to keep looking the other way. I'll keep my eyes closed. And you just, don't show the camera. Don't show the people at home. Just take a quick peek so you know what number is facing up. Yeah. Okay, got it? Yeah. Okay, here's the idea. I'm going to ask you, is it a one? I want you to say no. I'll ask you, is it a two? Say no. Is it a three? Say no. Is it a four? Say no. Is it a five? Say no. Is it a six? Say no. Okay. It's my job to figure out when you're lying. Okay. It's important. You say no on every single number, and I'm going to put 100 euros on this. Okay. And this is real money. This is not for the purposes of TV. If I lose, I'll give you 100 euros. Have okay? you got it on you? Uh, I do, actually. Do you want okay. to see it now? No, or? I believe you. I believe okay, you. so here's the idea. Say no every time. Is it a one? No. Is it a two? No. Is it a three? No. Is it a four? No. Is it a five? No. Is it a six? No. Now, people at home, I hope you're noticing if you're paying attention at all, uh, you close your eyes for the first time in the number two, so it's a definitely a two, isn't it? It is a two. <laughs> let's take a look. Okay, there it is right there. Get a close-up of that. There it is, number two. But let's no, go again. Number two. Okay, let's go again, because maybe I got lucky. Maybe I just guessed. Go ahead, do it again. Okay, stick it in, shake it up. Turn the mug face down when you're ready. I'll look the other way. I'll put my hand over my eyes. And now, I look at it? Uh, well, do you know what number is no. facing up? Okay, take a quick peek. Okay. Okay, this time, a thousand euros. And I'm not messing around. I'm it's dead serious. Do you know what's actually happening? You're, I'm actually looking at it and going, mm, in my head, and said the number, and now you know what the number is. Oh, no, I actually don't. Okay. Like, if I was to guess right now, I'd probably get it wrong. Okay. Okay, okay. No, no, this is true, uh, because, see, we all look different, but we all actually all look the same when we lie. Right. So it's not that you're doing uh, something now. So it's actually what I'm going to do now. Is yeah, gonna, oh, yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll explain to the audience. Oh, if you get a close-up uh, on her face, and I'll explain how you're about to give it away. You okay. won't, you're going to tell me what that number is. You just okay. won't know what you're telling. Okay. Okay, here we go. Say no every time. Is it a one? No. Is it a two? No. Is it a three? No. Is it a four? No. Is it a five? No. Is it a six? No. Now, notice the way the intonation of your voice dropped down, and also you said it very, very quickly, a little bit more quickly than the rest, so it's definitely number six, isn't it? Is that correct? Yeah. There it is, right there, number six. Oh, it's so not fair. Okay, one last time, one last time, just to make sure that I'm not just getting a look on, on this. Does the money go up now? Yeah. The hundred Oh, and by the way, think about this. The first time that I, uh, I got that right was a one and six, then it was a one and six, then it was a one and six. That means six times six is 36 times six. This is over one in, uh, 180. That's the statistics of me getting this right this time. Go ahead, have a look. Okay, have you looked? Yeah. All right, here's the idea. This time, don't answer mm -hmm. out loud. Okay. Don't, just answer in your mind, okay? Kay. Here we go. Is it a one? Is it a two? Is it a three? Is it a four? Is it a five? Is it a six? You see, five, uh, four, five, and six, you smiled, but I think you know that on number three, your lips twitched just a little bit. You couldn't stop them, so it's definitely number three. Is it a number three? Yeah, that's It insane. is a number three. But, that is insane. Well, let's try and take it one step further, okay? Uh, that was with dice, and it was uh, due to lie detection. Now, uh, have you ever told anybody your PIN number for your pass card? No. Okay, so there's no way anybody can know your PIN number for your pass card. No. Okay, here's the idea. Uh, I've got a pen here. I've also got a couple of index cards. They're <coughs> blank. Okay. Here's the idea. Uh, I want you to concentrate on your PIN number for your pass card, your real PIN number. Yes. And I'm going to take your pulse just for a second. Here we go. Okay. Uh, let's see what your pulse... Good, strong pulse. Okay. Okay, I'm going to count your pulse out. That one, two, three... And just concentrate on the first digit of your PIN number. One, okay. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... Nine zero. Okay, good. Thank you. All You're right. not going to give away my pin numbers to the whole audience, are you? 
Well, you better not. Well, no, no, it's up to you to shut me down. Okay. Uh, <laughs> good. I've written something down. Okay. Okay. I've written one digit down. Okay. This time, I want you to say the numbers uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero continuously over and over again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, n there's no ten oh, the and pin numbers. So oh, zero. sorry, go, sorry. Go sorry. again. No, it's okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Quicker. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Say nine, zero. Say seven, eight, nine. 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 Okay, good. That's enough. Good, good, good. <laughs> okay. Uh, go for <clears throat> uh, the third digit, whatever the third digit is. Uh, I want you to just think the numbers. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, nine, zero, but start counting them now in your mind. Stop there, good, okay. Oh, no, no, go again. Start now. Stop. Uh, was that a seven or an eight? I think it was an eight, I think. Uh, okay, focus on, on the whole number now. Okay, I'm going to show, I want you to close your eyes because there's a monitor here. I'm going to show my pin number. Well, I'm going to show them what I've gotten. Okay, close your eyes. Give me my pin number. Close your eyes. Don't give away my pin number. Close your eyes. Oh okay, I'm going to show people at home this. Hello, everybody at home. Please don't steal my bank card and take out all my money. Okay, the people at home have seen it. Open your eyes. Be honest. Be 100% honest. What? What's your pin number? I'm not telling you what my pin number is. It's okay. I already know it. Say it. 8838. You're an awful pup. You are so bold. I have to change my PIN number now. That's it. Just change your PIN number. Pop. Okay, really quickly, the dates again. You are doing the 8 Deadly Sins July 13th in the Olympia. July 13th at the Olympia, the 8 Deadly Sins starts. And uh, tonight I'm in Waterford, tomorrow night in Heritage. Next week I'm in Cork, I'm in Wexford, all over the country. If you just check out KeithBarry.com or you can follow me on Twitter, Keith B. Barry. And on Facebook, of course, Keith Barry as well. So all the dates are on all those places. Perfect. Well, thank you so much. For being with us. Thank you for telling everybody my PIN number. I'm changing that. Um, but best luck at the show and the asylum was an absolute treat. And Thanks no very doubt, much. Eight Deadly Sins will be as well. Cheers. Thanks. The phenomenal Keith Barry. We'll have to have him back on again in case there's any more of my personal information that you would like to know. But uh, until then, we are back on Monday. Jimmy is here. He's here at 7 and 9. We are repeated then. Do join us then. Until then, have a lovely weekend. And we'll see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.